Boutique by Kids. Today we're going to be making DIY Mother's Day mason jars. The supplies that you're going to need are some paints, paint brushes, a large mason jar, easy tack or some type of adhesive, painter's tape, a paint sponge, scissors, and a paper towel. So the first thing I'm doing here that you'll see is I'm just cutting out out of the painter's tape very little small hearts that are going to go on the mason jar. And then the next step I'm going to do is I'm just going to start taking the painter's tape and I'm going to be wrapping it around the mason jar here. That way I can get that nice striped effect. And really you can do whatever you want with your mason jar. This is just what I decided to do. One of my favorite parts about this project is that it is so customizable and you can really, really do whatever you want. Get the kids involved and make it really, really creative. Then I cut out a nice large heart and put it right in the middle because that's what I wanted to do and I'm just adding the small decal hearts on there as well. So here I'm just starting off with the black paint and I'm just painting in wherever those clear spots are, wherever I didn't go over with the painter's tape. And I love using the painter's tape with this because it means that you can kind of be messy and really you should try to be neat, but you know, sometimes it doesn't always work out. So just painting this here. And then once you get all of those stripes painted, what you're gonna wanna do or whatever paint that you choose to put for your first coat, you're just gonna wanna set a timer for approximately two hours or until the paint is dry. Once that layer was dry, I just carefully started removing the painter's tape and then I started adding on my next color, which I did this really, really nice baby blue and I thought that that was a really nice contrasting color, very, very pretty and also feminine at the same time. And then I just took off that big, big heart that I had in the middle and it did kind of bleed a little bit, the colors kind of bled, but truthfully it didn't make much of a difference because what we're doing now is I'm taking some of the Easy Tack in a container and then I'm adding in some of this nice blue glitter, which was a really nice accent, just mixing that up a little bit, and I'm just kind of dabbing it in a sponge kind of method, but just with a very flathead paintbrush, just dabbing that on there. And then I ended up adding on to the big heart, just kind of layering on some more glitter and brushing away the excess, and that is what it looked like after. Now inside this mason jar, mom can put just about anything from scissors to combs and makeup brushes, paint brushes, and even pens and pencils, but my favorite is by far the candle. I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. Go ahead and check out critiquebykids.com as well as the description box below for more information, and we'll see you next time.